Hey guys, so I got this endurance 10 watt laser and I'm gonna show you the wiring system that I did because I couldn't find really any in clear instructions on this. Um, this may be simple, but for me, uh, I'm not that smart, so I needed all the wiring explained. And I just figured this out and hopefully this will help somebody. So I connected my laser to um, this plate, the spare plate that I had, and then I drilled three holes. Each of them are 30 millimeters apart so that they can attach onto the side of the X-carve here. Um, and let's do that now. Okay, now that that's on there and attached like this, um, I made sure that you have uh, all three of these uh, nuts on there because um, you want this as stable as possible um, so that there's no movement. And so now on to the actual wiring. I hooked up a pair of uh, clips so that they can easily be removable um, just in case you want to use uh, just the DeWalt and make sure that um, the dust collection um, can be functional otherwise uh, this is just going to get in the way. So the black and white wire is going to hook up into this port here and the red and black wires are going to go and connect and I'll show you where that is. So these just go in on like this and this black and white wire connects in to this port here. So now we have the laser connected. These wires feed all the way through and back around and then down under to our box. So the box is just gonna be powered um, and the power goes from this port here goes into the power so that's just your power so this is our black and red and this is our black and white now the only other thing you need to connect are the PWM and ground wires so that's this red and black wire coming out of here and that's gonna go into your X controller on the back so on the back of your X controller, the spindle PWM is going to go for the red wire and your ground is going to be your black wire. Um, and those just connect on in and you're good to go for powering the laser. Now I'm going to take the unpopular approach and say that light burn is giving me some odd um, kind of cuts and I don't really like it. There's some cuts that are straight and then sometimes they go wavy so it has nothing to do with the machine it has something to do with the software because um, otherwise the cuts would be wavy everywhere and sometimes they're straight sometimes they're not so this is what i did for all the wiring and it is set up great and works fine um but for the software side I honestly don't know what I'm doing yet, and if anyone has any tips or videos on how to successfully uh, change all the settings for um, a, a software solution that is easy to use and you can just engrave or um, cut uh, different materials and different thicknesses, please let me know. I'll make a video on that of what I've learned, but basically I'm still not able to cut anything past uh, some thin paper and I know this can do a lot more um, but there's no video really explaining these settings uh, it's just more of details of what they did um, so it's nice to see pictures of engraved lions but I want to know how 
to engrave the lion. So yeah, I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions, um, leave in the comments, and I'll try to explain them the best that I can, but it's honestly just simple um, soldering and wiring um, and connecting it up to the back of the X-Carve. All right, cheers.